Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 16 of our series testing for ethanol content in super unleaded petrol. As with the last video, we're not testing a super unleaded, but a sample of Texaco's E10 labelled petrol. Given that Texaco Supreme has been the only higher octane fuel we found that contains any ethanol at all, at 2.5% if I remember rightly, but I'll add a link to that test in the description below, I thought it was worth seeing if their premium 95 octane fuel was closer to 10% than the 5-7% to in the brands that we've tested so far. Since the last Texaco video, we still don't have their new Performance 99 fuel here yet, only the 97 Ron, and that's at 3 Texacos in a 30 mile radius from me. As usual, I'm adding 300 millilitres of water to 700 millilitres of the test petrol to determine the amount of ethanol blended into the petrol. Please see the previous control tests in this series explaining this process as well as the effectiveness of mixing using this pour-free method. We expect to see some amount of ethanol in this E10, although going by previous samples it's unlikely to actually be 10%, but perhaps more than the average given that Texaco are using ethanol in their Supreme unleaded. It appears not, as the line has mostly settled at 340 millilitres, which, same as the previous video's Jet E10 test, indicates a 6% ethanol content. Although there's some waiting for the froth to settle, I'm no longer going to be waiting an hour, as every previous test and the demonstration I did by retesting the Jet E10 after just 5 minutes of waiting has shown this to be unnecessary. I'm also in the process of a fuel economy comparison between the ethanol blends and ethanol free super and leadeds. So far I have run a tank of Jet 6% petrol and now have a full tank of Texacos with the same ethanol percentage, so it will technically be E6 versus E0. Depending on the results I might look to use Harvest C10 petrol because that was 7% when I tested it last Christmas and then compare that with a different super unleaded brand just in case V-Power's additives are more focused on performance and cleaning effects over good economy. I'm also seeing the effects of 6% ethanol on different materials in these jars in the background so please subscribe if that's something that may be of interest to you as well. Until the next video, thanks very much for watching. Help deal with the effects of high inflation and economic recession by signing up to Nexo. Nexo is an alternative banking platform who offer a debit card that pays 2% cash back on all purchases with no fees. You can buy, sell, borrow and earn both fiat and cryptocurrencies as well as get $25 worth of Bitcoin using the link in the description below.